Hello, I'm Tristan. And I'm Matt. Welcome to Hill TV News. If it's happening at Hill, we have it. Matt, can you tell us what is going to be served at the cafeteria this week? Uh, on Monday, our A lunch will be mozzarella sticks, and our B lunch will be Uncrustable PB&J. On Tuesday, our A lunch will be a hamburger, and then our B lunch will be a sorted deli sandwich. On Wednesday, our A lunch will be a tally dunkers, and our B lunch will be a sorted deli sub. And on Thursday, our A lunch will be chicken nuggets, and our B lunch will be a sorted deli sandwich. And then on Friday, our A lunch will be a stuffed crust pizza, and our B lunch will be toasted cheese sandwich. Tristan, can you tell us about the weather? Well, it looks like we are in store for some more snow. The good news is that there are 21 days until spring. I heard that Puxatawney Phil did not see his shadow, so see you later, winter, and, and hello, spring. Let's take a look at the upcoming week's weather. On Monday, we're going to have... On Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are going to have snow. Um, on Tuesday, we're going to have a little bit of sunshine and mostly clouds. And Wednesday, it's going to be cloudy. Monday, we have a low of 25 and a high of 34. On Tuesday, we have a low of 25, high of 32. Wednesday, we have a low of 22, high of 30. Thursday, we have a low of 34, high of 29. Friday, we have a low of 23, high of 32. On Saturday, we have a low of 23, high of 29. Sunday, we have low of 27, high of 32. Well, winter might not be gone yet, but hopefully soon. Matt, who is this week's staff pick? Our staff pick, w this week we have a teacher that cares about her students. She has two daughters, and one is actually going to school to follow her mother's footsteps and become a teacher. She is she has a cute French bulldog at home named Grace that keeps her busy. This week... This week's staff pick is Miss Pastelli. Miss Pastelli loves Disney and spending time with her family. Students in her class say that she works hard to help them learn. Thank you, Mrs. Pastelli, for helping Hill School, making the Hill School great. Tristan, what's Ski Club doing these days? Well, Matt, Ski Club will have its final trip on February. On Friday, February 15th, what, what a way to start winter break. It sounds like it has been a great time and students have been able to make lots of improvements. I know that all those, fir all those first year skiers are really looking like pros on the hill now. Hopefully everyone had a great time. Matt, what is happening in sports? Well, Tristan, it happened. Everyone's worst nightmare. The Patriots won another Super Bowl. That makes two of the last three and six overall for the New York, for the New England franchise. You don't have to love them or even like them, but you do have to respect greatness when it's in front of your eyes. We might not see anything like this again in hockey. The Lightning remains the best team in the East, and the Calgary Flames remain on top in the West. In NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks have the best record in the East while Golden State has moved to the lead for best of the West. Tristan, who is this week's Golden Stand winner? This week for the Golden Stand Award, we have a pair of fourth graders for the fourth grade orchestra. The winner was Joel Cushman, and for fourth grade band, we had Andrew Jolly. Congratulations to those musicians, and keep up the great work. Matt, what is happening around Hill School next week? Coming up, we have another music composition class meeting on February 11th. On February 13th, we have a PBIS assembly. February 15th, report cards go home, and then... It is winter break until we come back to school on February 25th. On 
February 28th, there is a fiddle workshop for both 4th and 5th orchestra students. I don't know about you, Tristan, but I love some fiddle. Tristan, what is something that the news team wants to remind students about? Sometimes the team members have noticed, noticed is team members have noticed is different toy and things to play with being a distraction in class. These things can lead to you not being able to focus in class and missing out on important information. So Hill School, leave the toys in your locker until recess or leave them at home so you can be your best learning self. Matt, Valentine's Day is next week. What do you have to share about this sweet day? Valentine's Day started at the end of the 5th century. It is a day to celebrate love. America is not the only country to celebrate Valentine's Day. People give chocolates, teddy bears, or cards on Valentine's Day. Over 1 billion Valentine's exchange, exchange cards are given out to school each year. Ameri Americans spread love across the country and wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is also called the Feast of St. Valentine or Valentine or St. Valentine's Day. There are a lot more interesting history to Valentine's Day also, so when you are bored, check it out. I love those conversation hearts this time of year. Tristan, I've heard that you read a great book. I sure did. The Magic Misfits, the second story, is more about Leah, and the book still shows tricks every 50 or so pages. This book is about the Emerald Ring, the group that Mr. Vernon was in as a kid. In this book, Carter and Leah meet Mr. Vernon's friend when he, he was a kid, who now goes by Madame Emerald. She is a famous psychic. The book sheds light about... Leah's early life as an orphan before getting adopted by the Vernons. She, this book is a nice continuation from the first, which we share a few moments w that we shared a few months ago. My favorite part has to be learning how to do some of the magic tricks. Pick up the book and see what I'm talking about. Let's finish with a joke. What goes snap, crack, and sweet, uh, squeak? Matt, do you know? No. Mice Krispies. Well, that is all for this week. Thanks again for watching.